Hi, my name is Alex from APC Dynamics. And in this video, I will show you how to save the filters that you've set on list pages, as well as talk about some of the reporting analysis you could do in the analysis mode. Let's get started. To save the filters, I'm going to use often on a list page. First, I need to bring up the list page and set the filters that I need. So in this case, I am going to click on the filter button and add my filters to this page. From here, I want to look at all the unpaid invoices by customer 10,000. So I am going to add a filter for the customer number. I'm going to filter on the remaining amount and anything that's not equal to zero. Now let's say I want to save this filter so I could use it in the future. On the upper left corner where it says all and there's this save icon, I'm going to save this and once I give it a name, just push enter and this view will be saved. So now if I leave the screen, and I go to the posted sales invoices, bring up the filter menu and click on the saved view that you've used and you will be able to bring up that list page with the saved filters that you created. Next, let's talk about the analysis mode on list pages in Business Central. The analysis mode allows you to quickly get information from all of the data that are listed without generating any type of printed reports. So to get to the analysis mode, just click on this analysis mode. Now from here, I can drag and group my data for the system to give me a subtotal. So in this case, I want to look at all of my customer. In this example, I want to get a subtotal of all of my customers. So I'm going to drag my customer number into the row groups. And you'll see that this will this will give me a subtotal of all the invoices by customer. So let's say I want to also group it by customer number and then by the due date. I could just drag on this due date, bring it down here. Now, if I expand the customer number, you'll see that the data is subtotaled by customer first and then by the due date. To save this view, you just need to click on rename. Once I rename it, this will be saved. Lastly, you could use Microsoft Copilot to generate your analysis reports directly from the list page. So once you enter the analysis mode, just click on this new analysis. From here, you just need to type in plain English what you want. So for this prompt, I'm just going to tell it to show the report by customer by due date and only show invoices with the due date of 2023. I'm going to click on generate. Once Copilot's done, you just need to verify the data. So if I do a drop down, you'll see that the invoices that are listed are only for 2023. If I want to see what filter, I see the row group, it is grouped by the customer name and is grouped by the due date. If I click on the analysis filters on the right, if I click on drop down on the due date, it will show that it is correctly filtering from 2023.